Hi guys, it is another hot midsummer day in early May here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on this hot sticky Monday morning uh, in the collapse of global industrial civilization in Garfield, Texas. And I am Sam Mitchell and this is my little co-pilot Sancho Panza we should be celebrating today, kicking off year three uh, at Collapse Chronicles instead of getting ready to uh, shutter this show down in one more week. I'm going to be on here for one more week and then we're going to take a break until this uh, distraction with a capital D on this planet blows over. Hopefully it won't be too long. I. I, I do uh, want to thank the 28 new subs over the last two days and my guess is that this is people resubscribing to uh, Collapse Chronicles uh, over the past couple of days after and the little snit I guess is over. I want it's probably something to do with Sheldon Solomon uh, for uh, Sheldon Solomon helping me get 28 people to uh, come back uh, to Collapse Chronicles. And so anyway, glad to have you back and I uh, hope this little wrinkle can get over with. I know there, there still appears to be <clears throat> some confusion that journalist Sam Mitchell is being mistaken for somebody else in the Doomosphere I'm trying to get to the bottom of this, but I think a few people are understanding that they have confused Sam Mitchell with somebody else down here. I, I guess maybe somebody else has some little dog or something. Looks kind of like Sancho. But anyway, glad to have you back. And uh, I do want everyone to go over to Reddit to our collapse. They just pulled down uh, the Sheldon Solomon videos and I'm pretty sure that Collapse Chronicles has been banned from our collapse over at Reddit. So if anyone wants to go over to Reddit and let them and give uh, the, uh, the people at Reddit uh, their opinion of that, you're welcome to. I have already had my parting comments with the clueless morons over at Reddit for uh, ma making some ridiculous accusations against me. Number one, absolutely baseless. And number two, uh, ripping down the Sheldon Solomon videos off of uh, our collapse at Reddit. Uh, because of some little ego snit that uh, the uh, that little twerp over there I don't even I honestly don't even know who it is but uh, Reddit I'll just have to do without me you guys I mean I don't care at this point anybody who wants to post my interviews over at Reddit what I would what I would really ask is anyone listening that, to this uh, I want you to go over to reddit.com to our collapse and post both of those Sheldon Solomon videos. I want uh, to flood uh, our collapse at reddit.com with Shel those two Sheldon Solomon videos. That we could have a lot of fun with them and you would be doing me and Sheldon Solomon a favor by doing that. But anyway, guys, uh, enough of that. Uh, I have to, uh, I need to be getting out of here trying to find a <clears throat> windshield. I need to replace the windshield in my gas sucking truck so I can pass my inspection here in the police state. But anyway, so this is going to be short and sweet, a short and sweet chronicle of the collapse from good old CBS News. Well, you will not believe this, guys. The highest ever concentration of plastic pieces found on the ocean floor. 
Who would have thunk it? Researchers have uncovered the highest ever concentration of microplastics on the seafloor. <clears throat> Shut up. Uh, yes, the one, you don't get that squirrely like that. All right, he's off. The squirrely hound is off. A little hot having that dog in my lap. It's pretty much a triple digit day here today on May 4th. Let's start over. <clears throat> yes, you getting that squirrely or not? Researchers have uncovered the highest ever concentration of microplastics on the seafloor. According to a new study in the journal Science, scientists recently found 1.9 million, 1.9 million pieces of microplastics in an area of about 11 square feet on the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea, 11 square feet, so let's call it 2 million pieces and 12 square feet. What 12 square feet is, is 4 feet by 3 feet. You know, 3 feet is, is a yard or roughly a meter, so I don't know why they did it like, yeah. Well, I guess it's 1 meter by 1 meter, yeah. 1 meter by 1 meter. Uh, 1.9 million 1.9 million pieces of microplastics in a one meter by one meter square. That's all we need to know about the collapse of a planet. <clears throat> and this could have something to do with the fact that over 10 million tons of plastic waste enter our oceans each year. And of course they're talking about this, uh, between now and 2050, this 10 million tons could anywhere from double to quadruple uh, over the next 30 years, although they don't talk about it in this story. I mean, the, as of now, over 10 million tons of plastic waste enter the oceans each year but the visible floating plastic that has led to these anti-straw and anti-plastic bag movements account for less than 1% of the ocean's total plastic. The other 99% of plastic waste is thought to live in the deep ocean, and this new study helps to explain how it ends up there. Researchers were able to track deep sea currents and show how they act like conveyor belts to transport microplastics across the seafloor. Uh, to conduct the study, a team of scientists collected sediment samples from the bottom of the Tyrrhenian Sea off the coast of Italy before extracting and analyzing the plastic within it. Uh, researchers said, I hope this wind isn't, the breeze does feel nice, probably not helping the audio quality of this video. Uh, <clears throat> researchers said microplastic hotspots occur when flowing seafloor currents concentrate plastics in large sediment accumulations. These microplastic hotspots, you know, on the bottom of the ocean are essentially the deep sea counterparts of the garbage patches that collect on the ocean surface and wind up on beaches. These garbage patches have been widely researched, but researchers were surprised at what they found when they traveled to the depths of the sea. This is lead uh, author Dr. Ian Kane from the University of Manchester. Quote, almost everybody has heard of the infamous ocean garbage patches of floating plastics, but we were shocked at the high concentrations of microplastics we found in the deep seafloor. Uh, the microplastics found by researchers were mostly made up of tiny clothing fibers 
which can easily enter oceans if not filtered out properly in wastewater treatment plants, along with microplastics. These currents also trap oxygenated water and nutrients, meaning important seafloor ecosystems are absorbing the plastics, possibly ingesting it and passing them up the food chain. Do you think so? Scientists hope their findings will help to predict the locations of other microplastic hotspots and lead to further research on their impacts on marine life and oceans around the world. Uh, yep. Uh, good luck. Uh, researchers said the amount of plastic is so high, it has now essentially become part of the makeup of the ocean floor, a potentially devastating threat to biodiversity. Uh, this is Dr. Florian Pohl from Durham University, quote, it is unfortunate, but plastic has become a new type of sediment particle which is distributed across the seafloor together with sand, mud, and nutrients. Thus, sediment transport processes such as seafloor currents will concentrate plastic particles in certain locations on the seafloor. Close quote. There you go. So, uh, as the world's attention is focused on the C word, we have 1.9 million pieces of plastic showing up in a one meter by one meter square of ocean floor. And uh, we're wondering uh, how this planet is collapsing. But anyway, I have got to wrap up today's chronicle of the collapse and start dealing with the collapse of my gas-sucking truck's windshield. And please, uh, if you're looking for something to do today, please go post those interviews with Sheldon Solomon uh, over on rcollapse at reddit.com uh, to get the word out. Bye, guys.